Welcome back. Today's tasks involve creating an email template and then creating and sending an email campaign to a segment that we created yesterday. Let's go across to MailChimp. I'm in MailChimp. Now to create an email template is very simple and I'm going to do it fairly quickly. Uh, I merely go to campaigns to the left hand side, click email templates, click create template. Now keep in mind that a template is just the style and layout really. So what I'm going to do is select a default or a base layout and I'll just select this one column basic for now. So I'm going to click on the one column basic. wait for that to load up and just keep in mind as well that I do have other videos and there are plenty of other instructions and so on available if you need more more help with this. Uh, so let's create our design and our layout. So the first thing I do is I go to style and I'll go through every one of these. So for example um, at the moment the background was a strange gray color but I'll just make that white. I can change my heading one, heading two, etc., font colors, etc., etc., and I'll click save. I can go to my pre-header, my header, my body, change the font style, and so on. I would do that to match my brand. Okay. The layout I like to use is very similar to the one used by Disney, uh, Pepsi, Uber, Mailchimp themselves, and many other organizations, where we go logo, image, heading, text, button. Nice and easy. So the first thing is my logo. My logo is going to be the same in all the emails I send. Therefore, I may as well add it at the template stage. In other words, here. So to amend my logo, I'm just going to click on the logo block. Click replace. I'm taken to my content studio. I'll just find my logo, click on my logo and click insert. I'll click link and always add a link. Just in case people click on it, click insert and always add alt text. Just something for people using screen readers or where your images don't show. So I'm just going to say logo and update. Right. So logo. Then I said image. So I'm going to click on blocks and I'm going to drag and drop the image content block where I want it. There we go. I want it there. So logo image. Then I said I want a heading and text. Well, MailChimp has included a text content block automatically. And then I wanted a button. So let me drag and drop the button wherever I want it. Um, at this stage, I could change the wording. That's up to you or later on, that's, that's really up to you. And I'll just set a style for now. Just for example, I will just, let's make it, uh, let's just go down a bit and make it that sort of color, shall we? Okay, now uh, we could add more blocks, social buttons, social blocks and so on, but I'll just delete this for now just to show that I can. There's an extra line, I'll just delete that. Just tidying up a little bit. And this is the footer content block and that will auto fill. It'll add the information for us, nothing we need to do. So really that could be my template um, and that is very similar to what some major organizations use. Uh, of course, usually we would enter preview mode, test it, uh, and we'd send ourselves a test email. But for now, I will click save and exit. We can call it anything we want to. Uh, let's call this demo by Gary. You can call it anything you want and click save. Okay, so now we've created our email template, nice and easy. MailChimp will automatically uh, you know, create the thumbnail image. So now we want to create an email campaign. There are various ways to create an email campaign using this template. We could either under templates, just click, sorry, click the down arrow and click create campaign. Or what I'm going to do is um, I'll do it just a different way. I'll just click create. I want to create an email. I want to create an email campaign. I can call this anything I want to. Um, whatever you want to. Click begin. Okay, and let's just wait for this uh, the campaign builder. Right, so there's, this is where it comes in. Now, on the email that you received, one of the, uh, the things is you need to send it to a segment you created. So, we click add recipients. Choose the audience. In this case, it was Gary's training. 
I'm going to change the segment to be that repeat customers segment we created uh, previously in, in, in uh, yesterday's tasks. I'll personalize the to field and select F name. Uh, this is meant to help it get through spam filters, your e less of your emails getting identified as spam and click save. The from, this automatically takes from my audience, but you can click edit from, sorry, and, and change it should you need to. Subject line, let's click edit subject and click here, uh, need MailChimp, whatever you want to put. Um, you can click emojis and put that in and just look at the subject line and, and make sure it's all okay. We could add some preview text. Click save. Okay, so now let's click design email. Wait for this to load up. And right now what we're going to do is we're going to click on save templates and we'll just use MailChimp still building the thumbnail, but we will use that uh, um, the template we created a few minutes ago. So I'll just click on that. So MailChimp's just busy loading that up. And we back to the to the design stage. So we've got our logo. Let's add an image. So I'll just click on the image content block. Sorry. Click upload an image. I'm taken to my content studio. Let's select an image. Um, I'm in Brisbane, so I'll just select the Brisbane image. Of course, you would add a link where if people click on it, you'd add alt text, image of Brisbane, something like that. Then what we would do is we can just type in our text. Um, of course, you'd write a few more lines, but, but you get the idea. Then quite simply uh, on the button, we could send people somewhere uh, to read more or to book or whatever the case might be. Okay, and that might be your entire email you want to send to these repeat customers. Of course, we would preview, we would go through all these various steps and I'll click continue. Wait for this to load up. So we've defined all these things, um, campaign link, that's absolutely fine. I won't for now uh, social post my campaign. And we can then schedule, uh, if you're not, sorry, I think on the free plan nowadays, you aren't able to schedule. Um, so we'll just click send for now, and I'll send that immediately. And hey presto, it's gone. And your recipients will get it in a few, in a few minutes. That's it. So what we did is we created our email template and then we used that template and created an email campaign and sent it nice and simple. Thanks for joining me.